In this second video, we're going to explore the automated options to analyze your games so that you can achieve quick and efficient analysis of your online games in just seconds, or full analysis with opening commentary, verbal commentary, variations, all in a far more human style. I'll also be giving you tips and suggestions according to my personal preferences. If you're analyzing your Blitz or Bullet games, then the option you're going to be choosing the most often is the blunder check. This will give you a quick and clear overview of how you did in your game in record time. To open up the blunder check, you first go to Analysis, then Blunder Check. And when you click on it, it's going to open up a new pane with options. On the left side, we can see side to analyze, white, black, both winner, loser, annotate as text, annotate as variations, and we're going to leave those options as are. And on the other side, we have more controlled parameters, such as time, time per move. In this case, it says 10 seconds. That might not seem like a lot, but we're talking per move. So if you have 40 plies, that's 400 seconds, 6 minutes and 40 seconds, that's quite a lot for a bullet or blitz game. I usually set it to depth, which is the number of plies it's going to analyze per move. And I usually set it to 14 plies. Why 14? Well, 14 plies is more than most grandmasters will see in a game on average anyway. And the engine can usually reach this depth in a fraction of a second, meaning that it's going to analyze my entire game within seconds. The threshold, the threshold is the level that it's going to evaluate each move to determine what is a blunder or not, and it is calculated in centipawns, or hundredths of a pawn. That means a score of 100 would mean that a blunder would be a full pawn. I personally set it usually to 90, mostly because if I set it to something really low, it's going to highlight practically every move that it disagrees with. And frankly, I'm not there to discuss that. I want to see what my blunders were. And of course, the moves that were not blunders. Since, as you can see, we're looking at the game Anand versus Carlson, I'm going to set this threshold to something much lower. We're going to set it to 20. Why 20? Well, they're the best. So I would expect them to be committing very few blunders. Below it, we can see we have rightful variations, check main line, check variations. The check variations option is in case you decided you wanted to analyze your analysis. Let's suppose that you had annotated this game personally with your own analysis. Now you want to check that analysis and see if you made any mistakes while you were analyzing it. Well, check variations will do exactly that. We're going to leave it since we have obviously no variations here to analyze. As you can see, even at 14 plies, it is racing through the game, and it should be done really within 5 or 10 seconds, depending on the number of moves in the game. It is highlighting, of course, everything it disagrees with, with a difference of 0 0.20 pawns, which is not a lot. In other words, it might be just a minor disagreement, a quibble. And within about 10 seconds, it's already done. As we go through it, we can see that there are a number of different moves, variations, and so on. Not bad. We're going to erase this. Right click, delete all commentary, and we have it cleaned. Why? Because now we're going to take a look at the full analysis option. Once again, we click on the Analysis tab. This time we choose Full Analysis. And here it proposes per game the number of minutes. Now right now we see it has, it's proposing 10 minutes to analyze the entire game, which for full analysis isn't really bad. But I'm not going to have you sit around watching it analyze the game for 10 minutes. 
we're going to look at the advanced options and click on advanced. A new pane opens up with a number of other options. Verbose graphical training opening reference. Aha! And here we also have per move, per game, different options, slightly different. Per move now is one second. We don't have number of plies to our, at our disposal. We're going to set it to per game and have it only for one minute. The reference database that it proposes here below is, determined, is designed to consult a database and allow you to determine which, which one it's going to consult in order to analyze the openings. In this case, I'm going to set it for Mega Database 2013, open. And it's really important not to forget to enable opening reference. This way, when it analyzes the opening, it isn't going to calculate E4, D4, Knight F3 and tell you what it thinks of those moves. It's going to look at the opening and tell you what the reference database says about it, compare it to games in the database. If you wanted to analyze the annotations that you had in the game, be sure to disable erase old annotations or it will erase everything before it even starts. And we're all set to go. That little consultation was it looking through the database in order to pull out, as you can see, two games. Valero Labeno, don't know them. Jendrzejkowski Gumas, don't know them either. It's not a big deal. The point is, is that it says that it couldn't find anything after knight g5. And already we can see in the analysis it's completely different compared to the analysis from the blunder check. Not only is it evaluating opening, but it's also giving lines that look very much like a human analyzed game. Variations that aren't necessarily win or lose. Symbols to analyze the game. And even text commentary, such as Black has a new passed pawn, A3. Now here I set it to analyze the game in exactly one minute, and that is exactly what it's going to do. It may not be exactly perfect, but it's going to be pretty close. And it's done. One minute. Here we can already see that it has numerous comment comments, such as white threatens to win material. Indeed. Black threatens to win material. It's also telling us that another option was bishop e5, g4, with still a big advantage for white. We see that Instead of e5, it proposes rook a5 is slightly better. Remember, of course, that it's analyzing within a fraction of a second. It's quite possible that Carlson saw a little deeper. And finally, we have e6, queen takes e6 as the last chance for counterplay, and it gives a line, though it does recognize that white is completely winning. And that concludes our analysis options for one single game with blunder check and full analysis. In the next video, we're going to look at the options we have for batch analysis, where you can analyze several games at once, including entire databases.